Jandria, for getting me out of prison so fast. Sorry for slowing things down. Well, there was no other choice. But you're welcome. Besides, I didn't do it alone. The local resistance cell helped me out. Anyway, there's one entirely different thing that concerns me. What the hell is Andy doing here? Neither me nor Andrea told anybody where we were going. But I explained it to Andrea already, and she believes me. And you should believe me too. But I can't. It's enough that you spoke with that disgusting murderer. What? What do you mean? No name. Are you trying to tell me it doesn't ring a bell? Yeah, it does. I met him in the prison in Prague, but only in passing. Only later, someone from the Resistance came and offered me an opportunity to leave, the same as you. I don't believe you. No name is a damned bastard. And it seems he's been after me for quite a long time. I know how he can manipulate people. I'm sure he would have had no difficulties with you. What do you mean by no name being after you for a long time? I was never able to recall it until it came to me last night. No name murdered my whole family. Only I survived, and only because I fled. He didn't pick me randomly when he came to me pretending he was with the Resistance. I disturbed his plans. He wants to finish his work. He's been preparing this for a long time. And the fact that Endora has been planning some action against the state is only pure coincidence. It's nice that you came to help me, but you shouldn't have wasted your time. Now please, get out of here. Richard, you can't. No, I'll go. It's no use to argue. I'm doing the right thing for the first time in my whole life. But if Richard sees it otherwise, I won't urge it upon him. Hopefully we'll meet again someday as friends. Didn't you go a little too far? Andrea, no, I didn't. Andy helped me, and I'm grateful to him for that. But I simply don't believe that No Name didn't have his hand in all this. Besides, it will be better for Andy. He gets easily carried away. It's better if he stays out of this. All right. After all, it's none of my business. I'm sorry for your family. I didn't know what happened to them. We can't do anything about that now. We should focus on the task at hand. Okay, you're right. We have to go to the Resistance headquarters. There, we'll find out what to do next. So this is the famous Richard Rochek. There probably isn't anyone within the Resistance who hasn't heard about you. What? How? I'm famous? Why? You really don't know? Why, we wouldn't have known that Andorra's planning something if you hadn't told us. And now we know even more than the state. Furthermore, you take orders from the most feared agent of the state intelligence. And you're still alive. That's respectable. But Andrea has helped me a lot with all that. Don't be so modest, Richard. It's all true. Although I told you what to do, in the end, it was you who did all the work. All right, but enough of the praise. While we're here, maybe we should get down to business, don't you think? Absolutely. So, to the point, we know Endora has found a way to overthrow the state. But what we don't know is how it plans to do it, and for what it needs the radium secretly mined in Prague. All clues point to the Endora headquarters where all the orders came. We will find answers there. So we should go and look there, shouldn't we? Mm, but it won't be so easy. The Endora headquarters are extremely well secured. No one has ever infiltrated inside. Hmm. There must be a way. What buildings are those Endora headquarters in, anyway? It's the seat of the company's topmost management and the biggest building in the whole of Brazil. It's designed with three towers, connected in the first third of their height by a helicopter landing pad. There are only two ways to get inside the complex. To go through the main gate or to land on the landing pad. And I think I'm right to say that both of these two ways are out of the question. What about trying to get through security personnel? They're the only men, after all, so we may be able to persuade them somehow. The problem is that they're not men. Security is handled completely by special types of androids. It's impossible to get through them. Not only are they armed to the teeth, but also their intelligence is quite high. But I have... No, Richard. You can't simply paralyze them. Wouldn't it be possible to infiltrate among the employees? All the employees are carefully chosen from other Indora facilities. They never engage anyone from outside the company. And those lucky men, if I may call them so, 
then work and live inside the complex. They never go outside. Absolutely all of them stay there until their death. Or until they commit suicide. It's unbelievable. But Andorra has its own cemetery. I couldn't believe it too, but then I saw copies of the employee listings. The people really work there, even on their deathbed. You have the listings of their employees? Can I see them? We had to destroy them during the last police roundup. But ask away, I remember almost every word of them. And what did they contain? Only the identification number of the employees and their status. Active, dead or dismissed. They weren't too detailed. Dismissed? I thought all employees worked there until their death. Yes, with two exceptions. We already checked them, but in vain. The first is probably already dead or missing. And the other is someone named Pedro Parentes. Where does this Pedro Parentes live? I'll go and have a talk with him. It's no use. And after his dismissal, they took away his card. And since then, he has been living away from people and has almost never spoken. Right. I'll try to cook something up. Go. Andre and I will try to search blueprints and documentation for some other feasible way. So this is what living away from people means. Hey, you! What are you doing here? I'd like to speak with you. I think you could help us a lot. I don't care for any visits and I won't help anyone. Get out of here! But... May I interrupt you? Sure, what do you need? Or have you come up with something already? We haven't found any possible way yet. Parentes doesn't want to speak with anybody. We'll have to find another way of getting information from him. I told you he won't cooperate. We've tried to speak with him several times already. I need to know more about him. It may be possible. I found something here. I'll send it to your PDA as an article. It's his brief curriculum from Endora's records. Thanks. Hopefully it'll help. Maybe this sounds a little strange, but you look just how I imagined a resistor commander would look like. But it surprises me a little that you have such a weak accent. Hmm, I've traveled a lot. In fact, I stayed in Prague for quite a long time. So the Brazilian resistance resides in an old cigar factory? In fact, we reside everywhere and nowhere. At the same time, we move often, we are few, and we only rarely act. We're rather... observant. Maybe so, but you have nice equipment. You mean that blinking monster behind Andrea? That's more of a hobby of one of our members. I should go. I'll inform you if I think of anything. Excuse me. Didn't you understand me? I don't want any visits. Go away. Wait, please. I only need a bit of your time, and you've got plenty of it. I've read about what happened to your family. I have a similar history. Except that I don't even have a brother who survived. 
What can you possibly know about my brother and about me? Mind your own business and get out of here. May I interrupt you? Sure, what do you need? Or have you come up with something already? We haven't found any possible way yet. At last, I may have a way of getting Parentes to talk. When I spoke to him, I mentioned his brother, and he immediately hit the ceiling. He has a brother? Yes, his curriculum mentions him. They both worked in Endora. That's impossible. There weren't any two identical names in the employee listings. We surely would have noticed. That's odd. According to the records I read, they were both hired in the same year. If he really worked there, and he's not in the listings, then Andorra probably didn't want anybody to know he was ever there. It seems so, but why would they do that? Those records are available to the police. Maybe they just needed to cover something up. But if I know Andorra well, they left some records stored all the same. We may try to find his file using his name. Richard? Do you know his brother?